So this is the video I wanted to make for Fox mostly, although it may be of interest to anyone who's interested in Elite. Fox has had some problems with landing, though his combat skills are absolutely fine. Um, and so what I wanted to demonstrate was a very simple trade run in and out of a starport at either end and landing without smashing the ship to pieces. Ideally this will also involve the cooperation of other players who won't try and do stupid things with their ships and smash my ship to pieces, though they have been trying their best this afternoon. I'm presently flying a hauler, it's a small trade ship that uh, I've um, worked to upgrade from the starter Sidewinder. I haven't took quite a lot of work, but now I've got a 16 ton cargo hold and obviously therefore I can trade a lot more and make a lot more profit and that will hopefully get me my Cobra before the wipe in a couple of weeks time um, so I don't know, I'll have to start again but that'll be that'll be just the way it is um, Starport services are where I'm going to buy uh, a cargo I'm presently at Freeport it's an anarchy system and it's a mining system so kind of like the Lawless West. From inside the hangar here I can access all of these um, from the landing pad which you'll see in a second I could only access the commodities market. Um, I've been in the hangar because big ships, keep, big ships keep pranging into me and I keep having to repair the hull. I wish they would learn to fly, I really do. So I've got 50,000 credits, um, that's actually quite a lot considering you start with one. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy Bertrandite, which is lithium ore, for those who are interested. And I'm also probably going to buy some gold. Uh, So if I buy 14 tons of Bertrandite, I can still have enough space to buy 2 tons of gold. And the profit on a ton of gold is much more than on Bertrandite where I'm going. But I want to fill my hold. Um, so that combination is probably my best bet for maximum profit at the other end. Anybody who really wants it can uh, harass me for my uh, spreadsheet with all the trade prices on it, but it's probably of limited value to anyone who's not playing. So, the um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to return to the surface. Just to show what it looks like. I could launch directly from the hangar, but I'll just sit on the landing pad briefly. Um, from here I can still access starport services but if I choose anything other than the commodities market it'll drop me back into the hangar. I'm not going to do that for the time being. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that my throttle is at zero and the reason for doing that is I don't want, as soon as my uh, docking clamps are released, the ship to go shooting off ahead into that stuff directly in front of me um, and me having to try and take some emergency evasive action which will be entertaining for people watching the video but no fun for me. So, my throttle's at zero, I'm now going to launch. Ship released. Engines engaged. I can now thrust directly upwards, so I'll be able to clear all of that superstructure and bits and pieces of ship. And I will now raise my landing gear and engage 50% on the engines. I'm not sure what that is there that's on the radar. It's probably the space station actually. Okay, while we're in a space station, um, the computers automatically compensate for the rotation of the space station, the movement in its orbit and so forth. So that's why the space appears to be rotating outside, and as soon as I pass through the space station, it's rotating, as that is the truth of the matter. I'm mass locked, which means I can't engage my hyperdrive, and I'm also going to stick up full throttle to get out of the way of anyone else who might come panning out of there any second now. So, I'm going to be going to a system called Owlin. 
Erlin's got one of the new style of space stations. So before I leave, I just want to quickly flip about so you can see the Coriolis. This is the old space station that we had in uh, Elite before, um, from 20 years ago. Um, slightly different from the old wireframes, but instantly recognisable. So, again, I'm going to flip over. You can see, as I move around, there is like a crosshair with a dot in it. That dot always points at the thing I'm locked onto. So, in this case, it's the star system Owlin. Um, if I head away from it, you can see that that dot becomes an outline. So, facing back towards the space station is an outline. Or flip again and face towards my destination and it's a nice filled in dot and that helps you with your navigation. So again throttles to maximum and I'm going to drive a maximum power to the engines for maximum speed. I'm now far enough away from the space station so I can engage hyperdrive. As you can see, if you were observant, the timer doesn't match. I ticketed that, and they say it's by design. Before I come out of hyperspace, I'm going to drop my throttle to zero. This because you usually come out quite close to the star, and there it is. I don't want to run into it. So again, I need to check into my navigation screen. Uh, now that I'm in Owlin, that's all expanded, and the place that I'm going is Owlin Enterprise. So I'm going to lock that as my destination. Um, again, you can see that it's an outline on the navigation uh, indicator there. It indicates it's behind me, so I'll flip her over. And I'm now pointing at it. You can see in the top of the screen I've got a proximity alert. That will be from the star that's now right behind me. Yep, can't see it with the windows on this ship. So I've throttled up, you come out of hyperspace into supercruise automatically, so that saves you a, uh, a step, and I've throttled up so that my throttle is in the blue area. And you can see the indicator itself has turned blue. That means that, uh, although it bugs out sometimes in general, that'll control my speed nicely, it'll throttle up and down as required to drop me in near Allen Enterprise. When I get there, I'll need to be doing less than a thousand kilometers per second, and within a thousand kilometers, you can see that down on the bottom left. Um, the way that I've set the super cruise, as you can see, it's starting to throttle down, uh, should deliver me quite nicely within those parameters. And then I'll need to disengage the super cruise, and it will drop me into the space station. This is actually a placeholder mechanic, and when the final game is finished will just fly smoothly straight up to the space station, but at the moment it needs to instance us. I'm also moving kind of slowly here because I'm mass locked by the planet. I might actually just turn away a bit in orbit. Otherwise, I may come to a crashing halt as it emergency disengages me. Alright, I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll be fine now. Might be able to see the planet. No. Nope. So just coming into the area now and preparing to disengage. Safe disengage ready, so I can press the button and switch off the supercruise. 
sometimes it can take a lifetime to actually get loaded into with the space station is so they're trying to improve that I guess this is not one of those days all right here we are there's the space station it's the new style there's going to be a variety of stations in the final game this is one of them At least with this one, it's very easy to see which end is the front, where the docking port's going to be. It's kind of not worth doing a flyby at the moment, because the sun's in the wrong place, but it does look quite pretty when it's lit up. When we're going to dock, we have to be less than 9 kilometers, otherwise um, we won't get docking clearance. We'll get told to get closer and reapply, so I'm just using my afterburners at the moment to get me a bit of closer a bit more quickly. You can just see someone else docking there. There are also, there can tend to be some fairly jarring level of detail jumps and, and again this will be uh, a lot smoother in the final game. Alright, I'm close enough now that I can request docking clearance, so I'll move on to my contacts, choose Allen Enterprise, request docking, request and as you can see I've allocated landing pad 43. <coughs> now, I'm going to slow right down now, and just use a bit of lateral thrust here to drop me down in front of the slit. I probably don't need to do this in this ship, it's small and manoeuvrable. But if I should get to something bigger, I want to be able to do this kind of manoeuvring around. Um, I'm following someone in there. Um, from the distance, looks like a Cobra actually. Which is what I want to be buying next, but it might be a Sidewinder. It's sometimes hard to tell from a distance. And someone's coming out, so I'm going to see if I can... Uh, just stick on this side a little bit. There's docking pad 43 and my frame rate's gone completely to shit because Fraps is eating on my CPU but I can just about cope. I'm going to lower my gear and that will have an effect of slowing me down but actually I'm just going to hit the brakes because I'm about to overshoot anyway. So I'm going to move over closer to landing pad 43 and just stop and explain this um, a display. Um, it's moved from the round radar to a sort of a flat target and this is showing you where you need to dock. Now I can sort of even myself up a bit with the joystick and I can thrust with my lateral thrusters left and right to move and I can use the engines to move myself forwards and I can thrust and reverse and come backwards and I can move up and down and I'm using my arrow keys in my case I'm not sure what the default is so I'm just thrusting down a little bit now and I'm thrusting across and the idea is to get the dot nicely in the middle of the target there uh, as I have it here, and then gentle downward thrust to a landing. Okay, so now I can go into Starport Services, into the Commodities Market, sell my gold, as you can see nearly a thousand credits a profit just on two tons of gold and then there's the Bertrandite the lithium ore and uh, 14 tons of that for 3,000 profit it's not the greatest profit but the route that I'm taking it's quite good overall so I'm gonna sell that and I've now got 56,000 credits nice little run no problems at all and that's that <laughs>